beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be trying this Therapy Wet or Dry Flat Iron. I've used it once before, but I wanted to try it again with you guys and see what kind of results I could get. I found this in Costco actually, so I recently got a Costco membership and I was so excited because I saw this being sold for $50 and apparently normally it's about $180 or something like that, which is crazy. And I've always wanted the Dyson hair dryer. If you guys saw this whole hullabaloo when it came out, it's a hair dryer that also curls your hair. And that seemed like such an amazing time saver that I was thinking I would love something like that because I wouldn't have to dry my hair and then curl it. Well, this seemed like a really good solution that wasn't $500, right? I could hop right out of the shower, dry my hair with this while styling it. So I thought that was a really cool idea. So here are the claims. It says here, innovative technology that locks in moisture as it straightens, the Therapy 365 wet or dry leaves hair softer, silkier, and smoother than ever before. We'll see. So the one time I used it, I actually had really nice results, but what I did notice is that it wasn't easy for me to curl my hair on the first run. I would have to usually straighten it to dry it and then curl it. So I wanted to see today if I could make it work with just one swipe, curling my hair and drying it at the same time. But even if it doesn't do that, this seems like a big time saver to me. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the hair straightener. And as soon as you plug it in, you get these little blue lights. So it has four settings. It has 430, 390, 360, and 320. I'm going to set mine at 390. Now I know that's really, really hot. For a lot of people, that would be way too hot for their hair. My hair really doesn't curl or hold a curl unless I do it at a higher temperature. So I'm going to do it at 390. I have a hair protectant in, and I'm just going to separate the top half of my hair. It's been towel dried, so that's one of the things that you have to do. You have to make sure that it's towel dried so there's not a lot of extra moisture in your hair. Of course, it's still gonna be wet, but it's not gonna be sopping wet. So the iron is hot. I'm going to separate out a small piece of hair and I'm just going to run this through and try and curl it. So I'm gonna crimp it. And they do say that if you see any what looks like smoke, it's actually steam. So don't be freaked out by it. <laughs> oh, okay. So we do get a curl and that is with one swipe. So that's really cool. This is an inch and a half, I think. Yes, this is an inch and a half. So it's gonna give you bigger, wider curls, more fluffy curls, not really tight curls, which for me, it means it's not gonna hold a curl as long. Whenever I use a bigger barrel, it means that the curls fall out pretty quickly, but my hair holds like that shine and it has that curly bottom, which makes it look really just nice and put together. So I'm gonna try again over here. I'm going to twist it and just drag it down slowly. And there we go. Okay, well it works, that's exciting. And my hair is dry, so that's really cool. The, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different working with this because your roots aren't gonna get dry in the same way that they would with a hair dryer. You're not drying the hair from the root. So I suppose what you could do is you could go in first with a hair dryer just at the root and then do the rest of your hair with this wet to dry straightener. Yeah, I think this looks really nice. So I'm gonna straighten one piece over here just so you guys, I'm gonna grab a piece that's a little bit wetter because you know, when you towel dry your hair, some gets drier faster. Um, and I'm going to just show you guys how straight I can get it on one run. Can you hear the crackle? <laughs> it's just water turning into steam, I have been told. Okay. 
Well, that looks pretty straight to me. I, to be fair, I don't straighten my hair very often. I don't really like the way it looks on me, but this looks pretty straight to me. I think it would look better with one more swipe. So let's do one more. And it's totally dry. Well, that's easy. This might be a shorter video than I anticipated. <laughs> now I'm just gonna do the rest of my hair. So now I'm going to take down the top half of my hair. And just a little trick that I always do is I'll take my bottom half of my hair and I will, <laughs> as my hair looks insane, I will clip that in the back because then I don't get confused about which parts I've already done. And I don't like having to feel and touch it out. So I just, I just remove any ambiguity and then clip that, that hair just in a little clip. And I'll usually start from the back just because it's hard to see and let's just get that out of the way. Um, it's working really well actually, better than I expected. But I think just going slow if you want to curl it, that's the main thing. Like, so, like look at that, that's so pretty. Can you see? It's like a really pretty curl. And the only other thing is that just don't take big clumps. These might be even too small. You'd probably do like a little bit more, but I'm just doing it because I want my hair to hold better than it would if I didn't take smaller pieces. But if you take a big chunk, the hair is going to be fine if you're straightening it, but if you're trying to curl it, then I don't think it would hold as well. Look at the steam. I don't know, this entertains me. I'm sure other people would be really freaked out by it. I kind of like it. <laughs> so pretty. Like, the curl is at the bottom of the hair. I will say that, but it doesn't bother me. It looks styled, and it means that I don't have to do two steps in the morning. I'm good with it. If you're somebody who wants, like, big voluminous curls right at the top of the, right at the, top of the hair, this may not be the best fit for you but I am very happy with how this looks. So my hair is totally dry, and you can see it's got a little bit of a curl and a wave at the bottom. Now it's not curled through the middle. It's definitely just curled at the ends, but I think it looks really nice. It looks styled, and I kind of love that. So one thing I wanna do before I finish off is just put the hair straightener through my roots because those are still a little bit wet, 
and I want to see if it can give a little bit of lift to the root. Yeah, and it dries it. So that's pretty cool. So you don't necessarily have to go in with a, a hair dryer. You can use this right at the root and just give yourself a little bit of lift and also dry the hair. My final thoughts on this Therapy Wet or Dry hair styler is that I like it. I think it's really useful. It gets the job done. It makes your hair look really styled and it dries it. It's perfect for me, for my lifestyle. I really like it. If you like a bigger curl, if you like a bigger wave, may not be perfect for you. If you don't mind rough drying your hair and then styling it, may not be perfect for you. Really nice for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter and Instagram and follow me there and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.